Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We do have a active sky and a big part of the activity is happening right with you. It starts with a new moon right around the third of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. That is when a new moon in your sign will take place. Now, what makes this new moon distinctive is that it will be speaking with Neptune in a conversation of some tension. Now, this speaks to you wanting to begin something, wanting to begin again, wanting to start something near and dear to your heart, getting a sense of clarity into who you are and what matters to you most and what matters to you first and wanting to take action in that direction. But then feeling as if there are key details that are being missed or maybe not even realizing it. Uh, feeling as if there are certain uh, questions that you can't quite put your finger on, much less the answers. Or feeling as if a part of you may be moving towards or uh, yearning for what ultimately could just be a dream or a fantasy. This is a time of your own fears and being aware of your own fears as well. Now that doesn't sound very fun, I know, but when there is a new moon in your sign, make no mistake, it is a time of power. And what makes it especially powerful is that a week later, we are going to have Venus move into your sign. Now this is really powerful for a few reasons. One is Venus will move through your sign about once a year and when it does, it makes for a time when you are that much more connected with a sense of worthiness. And it also allows you to feel like you can just relax a little bit, enjoy your life just a little bit more. And it allows you to feel as if good things can show up for you and they absolutely can. And so whatever doubt, whatever floating feelings may be there at the new moon, know that the feeling will change. And you will get to the place where you start to feel more in touch with your inherent worthiness. But there's something else that makes this an important time. And that is what is going to happen next year in 2020. We are going to have Venus retrograde and Venus will be retrograde in your sign. This is a really big deal. 2020 is going to be a huge year for you where it comes to the lessons that just start showing up for you now. What feels like it's just peeking through, just trying to make itself known to you. Again, lessons in self-value, self-esteem, self-worth, but also in love as well. And we'll talk about that more in just a moment, but it is this month that is going to provide you with a little bit of a preview of the truly big lessons you will be immersed in in 2020 that will define much of 2020 for you. So it is important that you pay attention to how it is and where it is that Venus is inspiring you, how it is and where it is you are feeling called on a level of heart and where it is that you are gaining greater clarity, greater awareness into what it is that you love in every area of life, what it means to live in a space of love for every area of life, because it is these very lessons that are going to come around again in very distinct and powerful ways once we get you into 2020. So this is the preview. I'll be here to talk about it as we go along. Of course, every step of the way I will be here, but know that a big part of how you engage the sky determines how it is that the sky can be realized through you and in your life. And if you choose to engage this time consciously, if you choose to engage this time with a sense of perspective on bringing love and knowing love more expansively than before, then you are not only going to make the most of this month, but also you're going to be that much more well prepared for the big lessons showing up for you in 2020. Thanks to Venus retrograde in your sign. Now, as we navigate further into the month, right around the 18th is when we are going to have this month's full moon. 
And this full moon is happening in your opposite sign, making a big moment in partnership for you. You've already got Venus in your sign, speaking to love and ease and getting along with others. And then here comes this full moon. Now this full moon is hand in hand with Jupiter. So there's a lot of hope at this time. There's a lot of belief. There's a real energy of healing that can be there. But at the same time, this full moon is also speaking with Neptune in a conversation of tension. Now you add to this as not only Venus moves through your sign, but the sun moves through your sign as well. It marks a time when both of these planets are going to be speaking in connections of tension with Neptune. And what this means is that throughout this month, there is the sense of knowing yourself and having that clarity and being excited and feeling connected. But then there's also this sense of maybe not being so clear or feeling like feelings are uh, waning, uh, feeling like maybe just as you are clear that you wish you were more clear or overseeing key details that might matter in the bigger picture. And that really is okay. It is the most natural thing to see with eyes of hope. And that hope is very strong at this full moon. At the same time, it is good to pace yourself as well, to allow the truth to be revealed rather than feeling like you have all the answers and you know all that there is to know. And just because you hope it and just because you wish it, well, the thing is, it's wonderful to align with that sense of, you know, the law of attraction and all the wonderful things that can manifest for you. That's great. And you may very well attract a person into your life, whether platonically or business wise or romantically, who embodies this for you, who embodies this message of uh, being open to uh, aligning with your intentions and knowing that that alone is enough to see them through. But I think that as part of the mystery, one thing that we often overlook when we talk about things like the law of attraction, like your intention, is that ultimately it's not really about the thing. It's not about having the thing or achieving the thing. It's about who you become in the process. And it is about you tapping into more of a, a spirit of trusting your karmic journey. And knowing that the, the challenges, the confusion, the pain, the uncertainty is part of the karmic journey that ultimately moves you forward. It's about recognizing that ultimately these things that you want uh, to have or you want to achieve are ultimately tools of what we're really here to do, which is to learn and grow and magnify our spiritual strength, or as I like to call the energy of love and wisdom within us. As soon as you lose sight of that, that is when things can start to feel that much more confusing. But where it is that you have an intention, you have a hope and you put it out there and then you release it and you allow yourself to be open and to learn. Well, that is when you start tapping into the best that this energy has to offer. So yes, this full moon is about other people. Those one-on-one -on -one alliances, the business partnerships, the professional alliances are covered here, but romantic alliances are covered as well. And in this way, this can be a truly important month for you where it comes to matters of love. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, Venus in your sign plus this full moon, uh, is powerfully indicative of you uh, feeling as if there is someone there. Chances are there will be someone there, if only to help you to see where you are in love and why. But it looks like there might be some floating feelings, okay? So whether it is you having mixed feelings, whether you're feeling like things are not as certain and secure as you may like, now that is part of the journey that any journey towards greater love is gonna take you on. And ultimately, the way that you navigate it is to practice surrender, to have that hope, to know that there's love in the world for you, but also to turn it over to the universe and know that it will show up for you in perfect time as it is meant to. It is when you put all your focus on one particular person, one particular situation, because there is hope, that you end up pouring a lot of energy in a particular direction uh, before it actually warrants it. So that's going to be a tendency that you have to watch for. For those of you who are getting to know someone, you know, again, this idea of being mindful of your own energy, 
of knowing that there's love in the world for you, of connecting to that faith, of knowing with all your heart and your soul. Because it is this month where you can find yourself being very focused on things going a particular way and pouring a lot of energy in a certain direction before the situation warrants it. And for those of you who are in an established bond, a full moon like this says that chances are your partner is going to come into focus at this time. You may feel like you need to be present or at least more present. Um, and it can feel as if a situation with your partner is asking for a lot of your energy. But there is love there. That's the thing. There is hope there as well. Where it is that you are wanting clarity, whether it's a situation directly with them or about them, well, this doesn't look like a month where the clarity necessarily could come. But it is a month where you can connect to the love, connect to the vision, connect to the hope that the two of you share to move towards a more empowered and beautiful future together. What I love about this month for you, well, I will say it is Venus entering your sign. That overall is a positive thing, right? Venus is considered a benefit, meaning she brings blessings. However, whereas normally with Venus in your sign, I would say, you know, it's a great time for any kind of uh, cosmetic procedures and any kind of change in wardrobe or whatever, not so much this time, okay? This time, because of that very active Neptune, because of the sun in your sign as well, speaking with Neptune, all of that says, if it is that you're hoping to make changes on a physical level, to pace yourself, uh, because it is possible now for things not to go as you expect. Uh, and even though I like to say, it's just hair, right? You know, I like to say that it's just hair. And so you can enjoy yourself, especially when it's something like just being hair, just be open. What you think you're gonna get, what you actually get may end up being very different. But it's when it becomes something a little bit more permanent that you have to be a little bit careful. And so I would advise that. But for all that, it is an incredible time to connect to the energy of love, to connect to an energy of wisdom and let that guide your actions. Because you will find that when you approach the world from that place, from that connection to the love and wisdom within you, you will find that many more experiences that magnify it and celebrate it with you. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.